97. A jar contains a total of 200 marbles, consisting of red and blue marbles only. If the ratio of red to blue marbles is 3 to 5, then how many red marbles are in the jar? So what do you think we need to do in order to solve this particular problem? We're given a ratio between red and blue marbles, but how can we use that ratio to calculate the number of red marbles? What we can do is set up a proportion. We're going to set up a proportion between the red marbles, the blue marbles, and the total number of marbles in the jar. Now, if there are three red marbles, that means that there's five blue marbles because the ratio is three to five. And three plus five is eight. So if you include the total in the ratio, it's three to five to eight. So let's create three fractions. And let's put the numbers three, five, and eight in their respective categories. Now the total number of marbles is 200. We're gonna say R is the number of red marbles, B is the number of blue marbles. Now our goal is to calculate the number of red marbles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this fraction equal to this one. So R over three is equal to 200 over eight. Now let's cross multiply. Three times 200 is 600. And this is gonna equal eight R. Now all we need to do is divide both sides by eight. 600 divided by eight is 75. So this means that there's 75 red marbles in the jar. So answer choice B is the correct answer. Now, if we wanted to calculate the number of blue marbles, here's what we can do. The number of blue marbles is gonna be 200, which is the total, minus the number of red marbles. So 200 minus 75 is 125. Now, of course, you can also set those two fractions equal to each other. So if we set B over five equal to 200 over eight, this is gonna be five times 200, which is 1,000, and that's equal to eight times B. Dividing both sides by eight, this becomes 1,000 divided by eight, which gives us 25. So that's how you can calculate the number of blue marbles. But as we said before, answer choice B is the correct answer for the number of red marbles. Number 98, a jar contains nickels, dimes, and quarters in a ratio of two to three to five respectively. If there are 85 quarters, how many more dimes are there in the jar than nickels? So let's set up another proportion with four fractions, nickels, dimes, quarters, and a total. So the ratio is two to three to five, and then the sum total, two plus three plus five is 10. Let's say N is the number of nickels, D is for dimes, Q is for quarters, and T is the total. Now we have the number of quarters, it's 85. So let's write that instead of Q. Now we need to know how many more dimes are there in the jar than nickels. So we need to solve for N and D. Let's begin by solving for D. Let's set these two fractions equal to each other. So we have D over three is equal to 85 over five. Now let's cross multiply. Three times 85, that's gonna be 255. And that's gonna equal five times D. Dividing both sides by five, 255 divided by five is eight, I mean 51. So the number of dimes in a jar is equal to 51. Now let's calculate the number of nickels. So we're gonna set this fraction equal to this one. N over two is equal to 85 divided by five. So we have two times 85, which is 170, and that's equal to five times N. Dividing both sides by five, we have that 170 
divided by 5 is 34. So now we can answer the question. How many more dimes are there than nickels? So this is going to be D minus N, which is 51 minus 34. And that's going to be 17. So there are 17 more dimes than nickels, which means A is the correct answer.